Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemount's DP level transmitters. In the last video, we discussed how we equate a pressure reading into a level measurement. Today, we're gonna to look at how we apply the different pressure transmitters into various applications to then get that level measurement. If we look at one of the most simplest applications, it is an open to air or a vented vessel. And what this means is all we have is atmospheric pressure above the liquid. In this case, let's say we have 55.7 inches of glycerol. Now I picked glycerol because it is denser than water, so it's gonna make these calculations a bit more fun. Now if we look at what the gauge pressure transmitter is reading, it's going to measure or read 70.4 inches of water. Now we don't have water, we have glycerol. This is why we are reading a measurement greater than what is actually the volume occupying this vessel. And so we need to take that into account. We need to tell the transmitter, hey, you don't have water, you have glycerol. Now, how do we do that? We simply take that pressure reading, divide by the specific gravity. In this case, we take that 70.4 inches of water, divide it by 1.263, and we are left with 55.7 inches of glycerol. And this is exactly what we want. And we have a great uh, level measurement from this gauge pressure transmitter. Now let's take it a step further and make things a little bit more complex. Let's say we have a vessel that has a closed roof and actually is pressurized in the vapor space. In this case, we're saying we have 200 inches of water of pressure in that vapor space. Now, if we continue to use a gauge pressure transmitter, which you can see we pictured at the bottom here, we're gonna read incorrectly. We're going to be measuring 270.4 inches of water. Why is this happening? Well, this gauge pressure transmitter is sensing the pressure exerted on it from both the liquid and the gas phase. And so it's cumulative. It's to 200 inches of water in that vapor space plus the 70.4 inches of water, which is really glycerol, putting, pushing down on that gauge pressure transmitter. So if we continue the same scaling as we did previously, you'll see that we take 270.4 inches of water divided by the specific gravity, and we are left with an incorrect level reading almost four times as great as the actual product reading here. So how do we solve this? What can we do? Well, we instead use a differential pressure level transmitter. And this is where the term DP level comes from. But we don't just have it set up like I have pictured here. Uh, instead, that low side, that low pressure side, we connect it up to that top of the vessel so it can sense that vapor space pressure. Okay, now as the name implies differential pressure, we are comparing the pressures at the bottom of the vessel versus the top of the vessel. Now at the bottom of the vessel, like we said previously, it is all of the liquid and all of the gas phase that is pushing down on that DP transmitter. But on the top side, or really where that low pressure connection is to the top of the vessel, it's only the vapor space that is applying that pressure. And so you can see these two terms cancel out and we are left with only the pressure that is applied because of the level of the product. Important to understand, this isn't just math that we're canceling things out here. This pressure transmitter is physically sensing both the low side and the high side. And think of it like a tug of war match against each other. So it's going to sense 200 inches of water on both sides of that sensor and those opposing forces are gonna cancel each other out. And so in this case, we're gonna see the 200 inches of water be canceled out on both sides. And we are left with 70.4 inches of water as the reading. And of course we need to scale it accordingly like we did originally and we are left with 55.7 inches and that is how we use a dp level transmitter um, in a pressurized vessel to measure the level should you have any questions about rosemount's dp level transmitters or any other of our products please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com thanks and have a great day